what's going on everybody lk here with apology man and we're back at it again for beast coast and today we are going to talk about our top five characters in dragon ball fighters for the first character in my top five and this is unordered like we're just going in order uh how i've written them down uh but my first character is uh gotenks i actually think he's the best character uh in season 3.5 right now for like quite quite a few reasons actually so yeah with with gotenks uh i think his like best strengths are um he has like a very strong like on point like uh, neutral game uh like a strong key blast like he, he really has like a lot of like the core uh dbfc tools that uh like most characters like want like a strong key blast like he has like a good beam option and uh he has like pretty strong normals as well so i i think the big thing that like really puts him over though like all the other characters is his uh is his ghost Oki and his uh combos uh this season so like his combos got buffed in like a pretty major way and like uh he's able to like relaunch uh by himself with uh, uh, uh beyblade into 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 drag down and then like you know you, you get you get a lot of damage with him just solo which is really good uh in, in dragon ball like if you can do a lot of uh damage solo that like goes a long way and uh the thing with this season is that uh they had nerfed uh snapback which was like probably one of the most powerful ways to run offense uh in prior seasons so any uh any type of like other form of offense uh where, where it's like you put a projectile on top of them or you know maybe you use like the ginyu force or something like any, anything that you like summon and run your offense with i think is even more valuable this season and i feel like gotenks uh summon offense is like the best i think ostoki is one of the best like just projectile solo offenses that like exists in the game and it's super good because like i mean you're like who else can really do that <laughs> uh yeah i i, I think Go gotenks is like definitely easily a, a top five character so for me i'm going to push my agenda and i'm going to say that my first character and this is also unordered but the first character i want to talk about is kid Buu. So, uh, Kid Buu, there are some opinions that people are having where he may not be top five, but I think what he does and what he adds to teams is too important. So he has the ability to control the screen from basically anywhere on the ground and in the air with really good key blasts. He has a good beam and an air beam, and he's super mobile and small and hard to hit, which is really good. He also gives basically all characters in the game mix-ups in a game where as my teammate just said they took out the most easy most consistent way to mix up overall so he gives characters mix-ups with multiple assists or he has a good support for neutral if you want that and he's able to mix up really easily overall and he's really mobile and small and just good at controlling the screen dragon ball is a game that's won overall from neutral not really from offense and he's good at both yeah, my, my, my second character is also Kid Buu, uh, no surprise. Uh, this character has been strong in like every season of Dragon Ball for like basically like the same reasons. He's got one of the most strong like ground games through his uh, 2M and 1M uh, stomp and um, just his uh, key blast game, which is like his, uh, his 5S and his 2S, which like just cover very strong angles on the ground. And uh, he also has a beam on top of that, like, uh and it's a pretty quick beam similar to like gotenks so it, it's it's with those with those options on top of him being like a small hurt box uh and having uh very good uh, mobility options like uh Myst mystic ball uh he's really hard to hit and uh, he's also good at like forcing mix-ups which i think like on top of like all these like strong things uh for his neutral game like having very powerful mix-ups uh through uh ex mystic ball like call assist and into like uh, a 50 50 high low it's is super good it's just like he he's he just has it all he's like the complete package and i feel like that's what really separates him from like the rest of the cast and he has really good assists as well which is which is really nice uh he gives yeah uh like what uh, lord knight said like he gives characters uh 
like 50 50s in a game where a lot of characters don't really get those types of mix-up but he gives every character that form of like mix-up whether it's like left right or high low with uh his uh with his gumball assist and uh, he also has other good assist options as well so he the list just kind of goes on and on for him his his assists are good he has a c beam which you know some people like and uh, he has a b assist that's also pretty strong as well on top of a character with a very large powerful toolkit the second character i want to talk about and again i'm gonna say for every character that this is not in order i'm not pushing an agenda at all by saying these characters in this order but the second order sorry the second character is Teen gohan so uh just like season two this character is extremely strong and not really talked about so much but he has a lot of things that are good and important in the game as well so he has a lot of strong core Dragon Ball tools. Like he has a flying kick. That's really important because he can travel across the screen really easily. He's got really fast key blast. Actually the fastest group in the game key blast wise. He has a reversal, an invincible reversal. Uh, and his light version of reversal, if you hit it, you can touch a death a character, which is pretty valuable because that means if you do something sloppy, you hit him with that, they die. Now, on top of this too, he gets mix-ups with a lot of characters, which is it's going to be a theme with all these characters. He gets mix-ups with a lot of characters, and he doesn't necessarily need assists to do mix-ups either because he has an uh, extremely fast cross-up mid-screen that enables other slower options. On top of all that stuff, he also does a ridiculous amount of damage as well and always puts you in the corner. So he generally kills a character in two touches, and there's a lot of situations where he can kill you in one touch which is really really important in the game once he kills you he goes out of the game you do now have a big lead and he has a pretty good a assist it's a dragon punch assist invincible that also covers the air so you can bring opponents to the ground so he helps the team when he's on the field and off the field so my next character on uh, on my top five is a uh, uh, base vegeta um my reasoning for him uh being uh, a top five character is like it's kind of changed a lot. Uh, like at the in season two, there was uh, Sonic Fox who had a lot of success with uh, Base Vegeta and showed people like why he was really good with like his really strong key blast angle. Like the 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 primary uh, neutral control he has is with like his air dash back, uh, air dash forward, uh, jumping S because it covers a very good angle, very fast, and it's like very low commitment as well. And that 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 neutral alone with that key blast uh, puts him over like a lot of characters in my opinion. And you couple that with like his rocket kick and his other mobility options, uh, he's like a really really big problem uh, once once he gets going. Uh, he has very high meter gain. His combos almost always two touch you just with how much meter he builds with his key blast loops. Uh, he has a level three Oki setup that uh, puts you in like a very very scary situation uh, if you can uh, combo into his uh, OTG command grab into the level three. Uh, the, the the thing that really changed for me on putting him this high is I really undervalued his uh, A assist actually, but uh, I I kind of see now more why it is as good as it is. It covers a very good angle and it has a ton of hits done uh, this season. So like comboing off of it. Uh, is really easy and honestly like if you play Dragon Ball Fighters like you know how good jumping is like if anti-air assists like have a ton of value in this game and a character like base Vegeta who has all like this amazing neutral game amazing damage amazing meter gain having like a a assist that covers such a strong angle uh, in Dragon Ball I think is is amazing uh, but yeah I I, I would I, I think that's like the main reason why I have him in my top five. Just a great all around character. So the third character in my unordered top five Dragon Ball characters, I'm gonna say every time, I promise. The third character is my homie Gotenks, my new friend Gotenks. So uh, he is really, really, really good. He has a bunch of things that other characters can't do. So we were all terrorized by him in season one and they nerfed him. So in season two, people didn't really play him, but in season 3.5 specifically, they gave him something that 
nobody asked for but i definitely take that and it's what my teammate said earlier his combos are better so now you don't necessarily need assists to do uh damage anymore so if you have assists you could just use them if you don't have assists then you could just do a longer combo by himself so his meter gain is really really high and this enables some situations where he can two touch you with the ghost super which really really incredibly dangerous uh how that situation is just really it's really hard to actually explain in words how bad it is to be knocked down and he calls the four little boys and he shoots them at you like you really it's a rough 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 situation and i think we would actually see him played more uh if there were more like high blocks and assists that did something else like uh the old master roshi i think that's really the main reason why you don't see him so much compared to the other characters where gotenks is an example of like when he's out he adds like a ton of stuff if you give him the right thing and his support is actually like on par with the other characters in my top five uh all three of his support uh sorry all three of his assists are really good for different reasons so it makes him like kind of flexible on a team but only if you're willing to play him later in the game so you have to kind of think more about how to add him to your team compared to some of the other top characters so my uh fourth character on my tier list also once again not ordered uh is uh, android 21 uh this character i feel like has a has seen like a really huge rise recently uh in how strong she is and i feel like a large part of it is uh, due to the buff that she got uh in season three which was that her level three gave her all four of her steals so on top of the level three uh being a pretty powerful uh offensive situation uh if you're able to input the oki correctly which it is difficult to do and definitely takes some practice but if you're able to do it correctly it is a unseeable left right mix up which leads to very easy two touches so i think that combined with her getting all the steals puts her in like probably some of the one of the best situations like in the game and it's very easy to create the situation with uh, good teams uh you just build build enough for three bars put them mid screen and combo into the level three and like the other person almost like has to spark like always because it's it's really scary and then after they spark she has all these steals it's it's really tough and then you couple that with her amazing neutral great normals like absolutely unmatched normals uh and amazing projectile game uh with her key blasts in uh 2s and jump s they cover almost the entire screen like with very very low risk as well it's it's all these options that like i feel like put her like this high now uh compared to before because before like she struggled with uh i i i think like people would play her on point and then maybe they wouldn't like uh the the situation from like after hitting them because no no one ever disagreed that her her neutral game was always really strong but i feel like a lot of people build teams now with her in like a second spot or even an anchor spot and combo into this level three and create this really uh really strong situation and on top of that she has amazing assists uh her a assist is an, a, a very strong assist it's a very fast projectile beam property assist that has a lot of hits done uh and you're you're able to use it with a lot of characters it's very flexible assist uh, her other she has like a pretty decent assist as well uh but yeah she has a very good assist on top of all these other strengths that i listed before so the fourth character that i'm gonna talk about in this unordered top five dragon ball characters is another good friend of mine z broly uh, he's been pretty popular since season three, mostly because of the limit break change. So people started using him as anchor. So he gets a 20% damage buff when he's the last character. And that applies to all anchors in the game, but he takes advantage of it really well. He has basically the best key blast in the game. It beats other key blasts and you can use it to target jumps. Uh, like my teammate, Apology Man said before, jumping is crazy good in this game. And all Broly has to do is just move his hand upward a little bit and he can stop it. The opponent has to take huge risks just to beat that. And if he hits you, then he's going to do mad damage, knock you down, do it again. Uh, similar to Team Gohan, he can hit you without assists. 
Now, the way he goes about it is a little bit riskier because it's a command grab, but still just the threat of it is really, really strong as well. On top of that, a lot of his moves have armor that are tied to frames, not hits. So normally in fighting games, a move will have super armor, but you can usually just press another button to get through it. Or uh, a character will have a tool that lets them jump if they hit the armor or something. But in Dragon Ball, you can't do either of those. And Broly's super armor is tied to a duration of time. It's not tied to an amount of hits. So it makes it much, much, much harder to deal with his armor attacks than even other characters in the game, like the super version of Broly. All these things together, combined also with his ability to snatch you out of the air literally with an anti-air grab, another tool that is super uncommon in this game, uh, puts him in a class above everyone else, in my opinion. And uh, the fifth character in my unordered uh, Dragon Ball tier list is uh, Z Broly. Uh, yeah, for all the reasons that Lord Knight mentioned as well, like he has one of the best, if not the best, key blasts in the game. It has a higher durability than like any other key blast, and he shoots multiple of them and can angle them up and down, which like basically forces people to not do anything except for block and or jump or like take a projectile anti projectile risk. Uh, with like a special or a super dash, but he has answers for that as well. And he has armor on a lot of moves as well and has very good normals on top of this. Uh, the the real uh, threat of Broly this season, I think, is his anchor potential. Uh, the way he uses Limit Break, which is the comeback mechanic they added this season that gives him the damage buff, is probably the best of any other character, like, easily. I, I think he's pretty like unanimously just kind of the best anchor uh, at least in my opinion uh i i think he's able to like use the 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 comeback mechanic of boosting his damage to like offset his problems which is uh i guess like not amazing damage like just like kind of okay damage uh and use all the meter that he gets in the end of the game to really just like kill you because uh, a problem he would have before is like he would like three touch you sometimes uh, depending on how much meter you have but like almost always by himself he'll always kill you in like two hits he just you know he can command grab you level three you do it again and then you're dead like that <laughs> it's really strong and uh i also think a big part of what makes him this good is he also has a probably one of the best anti-air command grabs uh and it has armor on top of it too and you know dragon ball jumping is very strong so him having an option like this that combos into a ton of damage is very good and uh that combined with actually a pretty decent a assist uh i was kind of low on the assist before but it i think it's actually pretty good honestly and i think it's pretty flexible to use as well uh i i think just makes him very easily a top five character uh this season okay wow so uh, I'm expecting YouTube comment people to roast Apology Man because my last character, I've been saying the best for last. You know, this is why you click on this video. The last character is Ultra Instinct Goku for me. Ultra Instinct Goku. So, this character, uh, and I, I, I've been able to put it in uh, better terms recently. This character, it's not just him, it's also the game makes him better at the same time. So they decided to make him like the anime and they gave him a bunch of special properties, defensive properties on moves where he has things like the quarter circle back heavy. That's like a four frame invincible move. He's got a dragon punch. And so an invincible move, but it's with down, down. So it's invincible and you could do it against cross ups as well. He has the one frame counter. He has the forward heavy. He has all these counter moves. That's all well and good. And he two touches you all the time. That's all well and good too. And his moves are really huge. Cool. And his combos are really easy. Cool. And his assist is really good. The A assist in particular, which is an invincible assist, which you guys know I love invincible assists now. That's all cool. But the real thing that pushes him, in my opinion, is that the game makes it harder to deal with all these things. Because, for example, if you're not playing a character like Gotenks, Gotenks is a great example, that when you knock him down, if this was another fighting game, you would knock him down, he would get up, you'd learn how to time things so that you could block the dragon punch, and then he can't do the quarter circle back H, so it's a four frame. But because he can vary his wake up timing when he wants, and he has the special move uh, dragon rush reversal on top of that, 
it's ridiculously hard for normal characters to actually counter all his options like there's always something he can do that beats what you do unless you play specific characters to counter it or you literally like reset him in the air or something crazy so that you could just get a chance to like not let him dp you for the one time so the game makes it hard in that way the game also does things like in the game in general you don't usually have a lot of frame advantage so if you if the game just gave you like a pinch more just a little bit more like one or two frames all it would take then a couple of his defensive options would be much much weaker but instead it's really really strong because of how the game has given us moves across the board so between all his strengths and the way the game is made i think he's unquestionably top five character so yeah uh I, my top five you know didn't include uh a certain character that everyone is very high on which is ui goku uh, i have him number six uh uh just like right outside of it uh but it's mostly because i i think like a lot of the counterplay to the character uh when he is specifically by himself is a lot it's pretty underdeveloped uh i i feel like there's still like pretty decent ways to deal with like his offense by himself uh I do think his like one of the best things like he has going for him is like his assist. Uh, I think his assist is like very strong, uh, and I think is what it is a huge part of what puts him that high for me. Uh, but I I think there is like pretty good counterplay, and I think the characters above him just have a much better neutral game than him. Like I I I really really do believe that, and and it's not that I think UI Goku is like bad or anything. Like number six, that's pretty good. But uh, I I just think uh, you know you, you gotta get you gotta get good you know you just, <laughs> you, just, you just don't think he's the best that's the difference yeah 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 hey, I don't think hey, it's hey, that if, if I gotta catch the heat you gotta catch the heat if, if I gotta catch it you gotta catch it <laughs> it's fine dude it's fine <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed our top five uh, Dragon Ball Fighters characters uh, I don't think our takes were that spicy maybe mine a little bit spicy I didn't put UI Goku in top five but. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more.